So today we're going to talk about Battlegrounds, a new game by Player Unknown, creator of Battle Royale for Armor 3 and H1Z1. Battlegrounds is going to be a standalone Battle Royale style game built in Unreal Engine 4. And today in Battlegrounds we're going to talk about the latest devlog regarding some vehicles that have been worked on, some sexy images for you to take a look at, and learn a thing or two about how they process a vehicle for Player Unknown's latest project. The vehicle creation process follows a similar process to characters. With reference images passed to our vehicle artists first, they will then create a basic model of vehicles in question and then pass on to the director for approval. Once the model has been approved, the artist will then move to creating a high poly version of the vehicle. Again, this process will be reviewed by the art director at each stage to ensure the model is accurate. Once this is achieved, a final render of the model is created before moving into creating the low poly mesh. With the UAZ, we wanted three different cabin designs, so along with the low poly mesh, the model was broken into separate parts to enable this variety. Now the vehicle is ready to be brought into the game. For this, we're going to have a few words from JC, who is lead game design and the man responsible for getting vehicles working well in the game. Today, JC would like to first introduce the vehicles that will help players get around the island. For launch, we intend to have five types of vehicles available. The buggy. Our jeep based on the UAZ 469. Our sedan based on the Dacia 1300. Our truck based on the ZIL 313, which is still work in progress. And the speedboat based on the PG 117 speedboat, which is still work in progress. Below is a short list of key components that define how driving a vehicle feels 1. Body of the vehicle. 2. Mechanical values and parameters. 3. Physics collision. In the first phase of production, exterior and body are aligned with the overall concept of the vehicle, will be determined and the artist will begin working on the vehicle. If we decide to use a vehicle that looks similar to what's available in real life, the spec of the actual car can be used as good reference, but for a vehicle like the buggy which is unique, we have to consider things like wheelbase and centre of gravity. JC uses a temporary model and tweaks the different mechanical values in Unreal Engine until he gets a well-balanced performance profile with a good feel to the specific driving features required for the type of car he's working on. In this process, he will adjust a lot of parameters including everything from torque curve to Ackerman accuracy, a parameter he didn't know before working on vehicles for Battlegrounds. When the artist has the model completed, he will import it into the game, dress it with materials and attach the different components that are necessary for the car to function. He then sets up the animations so that both suspension and gear driving system will move realistically. Once all this is complete, cameras, lights and effect sockets are attached to the car. He then moves on to the extremely painful process of setting up the physics collision, which is like walking a tightrope as he has to strike a balance between server computer costs, realistic collision and how it will affect the gameplay in an open world map. After each round of adjustment, he goes through a long period of repeated test driving sessions to see if driving feels and looks as real as possible. He has actually calculated the mileage of each vehicle after testing and it was approximately 20,000 kilometers on average. There are still some issues that JC needs to tackle in the near future, but overall, he is very satisfied with how the vehicles feel right now. And that is all for this devlog for Battlegrounds by Player Unknown. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on this, and I will let you guys know as soon as I can how it is performing and how it plays. But for now, enjoy these devlogs. I may keep doing these. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. Remember to leave a like as it helps the channel out a lot. And of course, as always, all links will be in the description below, and I'll see you peeps next time.